Hello ladies, my name is Olivia and in today's video I'm going to be wrapping a style I wore way back on December 17th, 2020. Now, way back then I did not have a name for it. I called it a, another wrap without a name. Um, I still do not know what in the world to call it because everything I've, yeah, it, it's, I've bounced around sounds really silly. So I'm going to keep with that. It's another wrap with no name. So um, for this wrap, it's got three scarves and an accessory. Um, I am wearing a white Wendy, fully stuffed. Now, because my hair is very, very long, it makes this a super stuffed um, Wendy. So it might actually be bigger <laughs> than, than um, the Wendy. My, that made no sense. That that was really silly. Because of my hair is so long, it adds extra stuffing inside. So this looks even bigger than an actual Wendy is. Okay, <laughs> two words today. Now the scarves that I used, I'll show them to you really quick. This original two in one in light peach. I have a New York Brights in tan with color. I have the dreamy lace scarf in cream, and then the Through the Garden clasp with its little pin. Okay, now let's get wrapping. Drop that up there. Now I started out with this guy here, and hopefully he'll cooperate with me sometimes when they've been wrapped up in their, um, in their twisty shape for a while. They just want to fight. Um, so I hope, hope this will work. I'm going to say about even when we tie this on. Don't have to be too specific. As long as if you're wrapping it, the longer side comes on this side. If it's not exactly even, then the longer side on this side. Okay. Wrapping it on in an angle, just like so. I'm going to tie the knot in the back so that the right hand side tail but the tail that's ending up on the right hand side comes out the bottom of the knot, just like so. Give it a good cinch. You can see it's even-ish, even-ish. Okay, now when I fold this in, I'm gonna do a good job keeping it neat. I wanna make sure which way it wants to go. There we are. Okay. I'm going to fold in the back first, front second, and then I'm bringing it up at an angle across like so. Now, don't worry that this is, the fringes here are kind of showing. I'm just taking my thumb and pushing them back and twisting just a little bit so that I can then, you can see they're, they're hidden in there a little bit. It just kind of holds them in place. Having a few show, a little fringes show here is not a problem. We're gonna cover them up, but to have them fall from here in my face, it's harder to stuff those guys. So keeping them back here just, just makes things simpler. Okay, again, just tucking. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back around. And, oh my goodness, I'm going to tuck right here into the knot. Okay. I'm just going to neaten this up really quick. Okay. Now see, this one's going to hang right here. I can fuss with tucking him in or just leave him there because he will not be shown. All right, now this piece... Just to get it ready for a few minutes, I'm going to fold it, okay, and leave it hang there. Now I want to put on the lace, the dreamy lace. I'm going to make sure I have the correct side out, and then I'm going to place it on my head. I want, I want this, pull it back just a little because this is a good a good way to see where I want the lace is having this pulled back. 
also take cuts down on bulk right here. Um, I want it right about here. The front of the Dreamy Lace, I want to go here. So we are going to put this here. You can see. Now, these are about even. So I want to make sure that that triangle piece in the back is centered. Okay, now I'm going to bring up that triangle piece just to keep him out of the way while I tie the knot. Now I have, I'm going to say be gentle when you're tying your knots. You do not want to damage the scarf. It's these dangly pieces are sort of fragile. I have a black one. It's not the dreamy lace. It's another lace scarf that when I pulled, I pulled too violently and I ripped off some of these guys here. So just a heads up, just be gentle with it. Dropping this piece back. And I see that it's come forward some. I'm going to walk it back. Okay. So that we have the dangles. Just like so. Okay. We're going to ignore this scarf for a little bit longer. And we're going to put on this. Now, this one takes a little bit of trial and error to get the correct lengths here. Because when I get them wrapped around, I want the tails to be approximately, approximately even-ish to make the big bow. All right, now I've taken this guy and I just want it to be a sash, so I'm folding it into thirds. I'm gonna do it in my lap because that's a little bit easier for me. Okay, so we have a nice fold and I'm gonna place it on my head. Just like so. Okay, so when I pull it out, and I know that this is not the correct length, so I'm gonna pull it just like so. And I'm going to crisscross in the back, no knots. All right, now I'm going to test this out and see. I'm gonna pull this up and over. Okay, These, this will work. All right, so I have over. I'm going to bring this, this tail around the front and I'm going to pull it through. Now, as I pull it through, I don't wanna make the loop too big. I'm gonna take these fringes and I'm going to find the pocket and I'm gonna stuff these fringes up here. Try to neatly, neatly do it take a couple seconds. Okay, so now that we have this guy here, I'm going to spread this open. Again, it might take a couple seconds to figure out the way it wants to open. There we go. Okay. Take two. Okay. This happens sometimes. Typically when I'm doing this, I close my eyes and do this by feel, but I, I kind of feel ridiculous on camera doing that. So I'm not going to. bring it through. That means too much. Around. Bring it through. Okay, that's perfect. See, we got to open this guy up. I'll talk in a second. It's no big to do. Okay. Okay. Do I have it all opened up? Or is there one little piece? Okay. All right, now let's get these guys tucked away because they're not so attractive. Okay. All 
right, nicely tucked. You can see half the bow right there. Now this one I am going to See, we're gonna figure out which way. Okay, I'm going to take this one and I'm folding it over, and I'm stuffing the I'm stuffing this tail back through, I'm grabbing it, and I'm leaving those out in the back. That's fine. Those don't need to be tucked away because they weren't in the original photo. But if you wanted to, you definitely could tuck them away. Okay, so I've got the bow in the front now. So it's at this point I can just grab and tug just a little bit. Again, um, this one, it's not as finicky as, you know, this where you have to be really super delicate, but be careful with the New York braids. You could stick your finger through and then you have to work work it the whole back out and that's awkward. Um, okay. All right, I don't think you're completely open. No, you're not, there you go. All right, so I have the bow just like this. And then I'm going to put on the clip, the through the garden clip. Now the through the garden clip is a little bit different than the, oh my goodness, than the infinity clip, infinity clasp, um, because this one goes through the big, big holes here. You kinda, you have to look, it has these little tiny guys here and it goes just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna place it right here and then I'm going to kind of push through. There you are. And line up. And this is it. I just twisted it a little bit to make it line up with the with the bow better. But we have that. Okay. Now I almost forgot this this guy here. Now this guy somehow came up on the front. It's better if you pay attention and keep it behind the New York Brights when you tie the New York Brights on, but it's not a big to do, as you can see, to just push it to the back. This piece here, I'm just going to be twisting it and I will bring it up and over here at the back behind the bow and the clip bringing it okay move this out of the way bring it under here and I'm going to tuck it away So this is it. This is the another wrap with no name. <laughs> um, to the side, to the back. All right. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you in the next one.